Nope. What up, y'all? Matt Burke here again. Coming to you from my office here in Tallahassee, Florida, and before we get into all the skating that I've been doing over the course of the last week or so, I just wanted to touch on something that's been weighing on my shoulders for the last couple days because this is the week of my 37th birthday. And for someone that didn't think he was gonna see much beyond 23 years old, to be here all these years later and be happier, healthier, and more active than I've ever been, has really just got me wanting to let any of you out there in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever, know that if you're thinking you are too old or too out of shape, you are not either one of those things. When I got back into skating back in 2018, the reason that I picked my skates back up again was because my lower back and my knees were giving out on me all the time and were in pain literally 24 hours a day. So after going to a chiropractor and having him let me know that I had the lower back of an 80 year old man and that I needed to start doing some sort of physical activity to build my back back up so that I could no longer be living as a 34 year old man with an 80 year old man's back. So I ordered a pair of skates that night and as you can see from the amount of videos on this channel, I have not stopped skating since. I have been physically in better shape than I've ever been in my life and mentally I have been in a better spot than I think I may have ever been in my life as well. But so if you get nothing else from this video or from this channel, I really just want you to know that if you are looking to get into any sort of a sport or a hobby or whatever, and you've got any excuses, just meet yourself where you are at this present moment and just learn whatever it is that you wanna do from that point and you'll watch yourself progress as the weeks and months and years go by. And there's literally nothing cooler than watching yourself get better at something. So with that said, I spent this last week doing nothing but skating the transition at my local park. As you guys may remember from a video I put out last year when I was trying to figure it out, I never really got too, too comfortable with it. But over the course of this last week, I finally think that I may have figured it out. I've been airing the coping, I've got some grabs, I've got a few grinds, and I've been way more comfortable with a couple stalls. So instead of me sitting here and talking more, let's go to the skate park and then we can talk in a little bit about what I am getting into for the rest of my birthday week, which I guess is a thing. These frames still are not sliding on coping at all. So now I'm just scratching these things up on curbs, ledges, and any sort of concrete that I can to try and just beat up the frame a little bit so maybe it'll start sliding. I don't know what's going on on this coping, but for whatever reason, I can stall whatever I want, but none of my grinds move. 
and I just completely lock up as soon as my frame hits that coping. So I'm not sure if it's what I've been told and that these copings are just set in too far or if I just can't figure out the right angle to set these frames on that coping, but it's pretty frustrating. So there goes my skating for this week. As you guys can see, I got so much more comfortable skating in that transition than I've been in quite some time. I'm still a little bit nervous with those backside stalls and doing any kind of a backside grind on there. There's just something about throwing my back to the coping that just freaks me out, but I am getting a little bit more comfortable with it each time that I go. So I'm looking forward to keeping on working on that stuff and getting as comfortable as possible, as quick as possible. But after a long year of going to barber school and then also getting stuck in the house for the last six or seven months, I am finally starting my new job as a licensed barber here in the state of Florida at a local barbershop called Chop. You may remember from videos a year or two ago, I used to work at this same barbershop, but I was doing their social media and photography and other stuff on the back end. But now it is the shop that I'm gonna be going to and it's gonna be the first shop that I'm gonna be working at, which is very exciting because I'll know all of my coworkers and it will be a very, very seamless transition. But one of the coolest things about it is that it is being built in the same little arts district that this new skate park is being built in. So I'll be able to go from the park to work or work to the park in less than 30 seconds. It's also right down the street from my house. So it's just like, so it's pretty much a perfect deal, which is obviously something that I'm interested in. And I am very, very excited for them to start building the skate park. And I'm also very excited to start working. I'm gonna put my barber Instagram link up here so that if anybody feels like going and following that and kind of joining that journey that I'm gonna be on at this point, 
you can go follow that. I'll also have the link in the description. But if you guys have made it this far in this video, I do appreciate it. And now I will give you my spiel about if you did like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you are not subscribed to this channel yet, please do me a favor for my birthday, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to be notified as soon as these videos are uploaded to this channel, please feel free to hit that little notification bell so that you will be notified as soon as that does happen. And as always, y'all stay safe out there and I will see you next time.